My goodness. First, let me start off by saying I have never seen a celebrity dancer who did not perform as well on the show that Master P did on season 2 of Dancing with the Stars. So let's get into it. Percy Miller, who is better known by his stage name Master P, is an American rapper and also was on the Romeo show on Nickelodeon that I watched when I was a kid growing up. Prior to season 2, it was a last minute change. Master P's son, Romeo, was going to do Dance with the Stars that season, but apparently had to withdraw from the competition after he injured his ankle, so his father would fill in that role. He would be partnered with Ashley Costa, who was going to be Romeo's partner at the time, but at that time, her maiden name was Del Grosso. There was one thing he did the show just to do it to the victims who were affected during Hurricane Katrina located in New Orleans. After the departure of Romeo, Ashley had at least one week to train him. They were hoping for some good things, but unfortunately some of those things didn't come to fruition. When they first got onto the dance floor, it was anything but a bad start. There were some positives from the judges, but then all of a sudden, Ashley's words start to slip up. Dancing the cha-cha-cha, P. Miller and his partner Ashley Del Grosso. Last Thursday, Master P got off on the wrong foot, and both the judges and his partner asked him to step it up. I want to see you in ballroom shoes. I want to see you look he like a dancer. It needs to be equal teamwork, and I can't, I can't play a tug of war anymore. You just went off on me in front of millions of people. Like, I need you to do this. I need. What was that about? I come from the ghetto, you know, we don't snitch on each other. I didn't, I just got a little flustered. You got mad at me, no. you ain't supposed to get mad, mad at me. He knows that I care a lot about him, that's why I said those things. Now that I have you don't finally... Don't leave me hanging though. I, you don't leave me hanging either. Yeah, she could have pulled me to the side and talked about it, but you know, we worked it out, we, we're a team, there's no I in team. I'm gonna try to get better, y'all. Despite that moment, they would talk it out and work it out, and Master P promised to everybody that he would try to get better. During week two, they would do the quick step, and I must say, he did step it up this week, but didn't wear the ballroom shoes that he promised, but it was okay. Then, they would do the jive their own creative way, but it was an A for effort dance though. But in week four, was a complete disaster, because honestly, there was a little bit of possibility into it. The scores that they received were the lowest score in any dance in Dance with Stars history. Dancing the quick step, P. Miller and his partner Ashley Del Grosso. <laughs>
and his partner, Ashley Del Grosso. and his partner, Ashley Del Grosso. Baby, do you understand me now? Sometimes I feel a little mad. But don't you know that no one alive can always be an angel? When things go wrong, I seem to be bad. If I seem edgy, I want you to know that I never mean to take it out of you. I've had the problems, I get my share, and that's one thing I never meant to do. I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh, Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. Sometimes I'm so carefree With a joy that's hard to hide Sometimes it seems that all I have to do is worry And you're bound to see the other side I'm just a soul whose intentions are good Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood Just before we hear from you, I just want to remind you, we're live and kids are watching. <laughs> Bruno? It was a nightmare. It was a... It was... Oh, shut up! It was a child. You look like a child on a mole, lost, looking for his mother. I mean, how can I, I... I can't judge something that has got nothing to judge. There are two steps, step to the right, step to the left. All right. Shut up! But it's true! You know, you have to give me something <laughs> out of which I can give a constructive criticism, but I'm afraid okay. there wasn't Paso Doble. Len? I'm sorry. Very hard. <laughs> well, uh, Master P, for me, you dance as though your heart's not in it. And I know the viewers think they're being kind in bringing you back. They're not. They're being cruel to you, to Ashley, to the judges. Honestly, it is time to... Go. Carrie Ann. I actually thought that that was your best dancing that you brought forth. But I'm going to give you that because you deserve that. That was your best so far. Good job, Ashley. What, but, what but, dance? Wait, the but, dance wait, of death. but wait, what I'm going to say though is it's the Paso Doble, and without the Matador, there is no Paso Doble. And I didn't see the Matador at all. All right, okay. Just hang here for a moment. We're going to hear what the judges uh, score them. The judges have their scores. Carrie Ann Inaba. Four. 
Len Goodman. Two. Bruno Tonioli. Two. Wow, eight out of 30. I, I've got to say, you know, you had mentioned, Ashley, in the video that he wasn't training as much as you wanted. And, P, I know for you, you said you give 150%. You've trained 20 hours total since the show began. But everyone else, on average, has trained 130 hours. I mean, how much do you want to be here and stay in the competition? Well, you know, I mean, I think the judge is taking it a little personal. If they listen to the music I come from, you know, I got a new album called Living Legend. Y'all could go listen to that, the judges. Go all listen. right, all right. No, 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 no Pete, come on now. Let's, 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 let's no, be straight just, with me. I'm being fair because okay. if they're going to give us those type of perks, we, you know, they're taking it real personal. Yeah, but it is a ballroom competition. I know, but I think they're taking the shoes more personal than what's going on. So, you know, <laughs> the fans out there, I love y'all, well, man. Do, but do, do you think that what you did out there is... Is, ba is ballroom dancing. Oh, yeah, because it was about the look, the emotion, and only God could judge me. You know, I don't care what the judges say, but I love them. Y'all keep hating. We're going to be all right. Me and Ashley. Yeah, Ashley, yeah. good for you. I mean, let's, let's talk. Because I know you are the consummate professional, and this has been frustrating for you. Do you think that P is committed? Well, there's... Yeah. You know, that's a tough question. <laughs> well, there's moments. I yes, don't mean to be I hard, but I just want to. He is, he is committed in some ways, and it's a little different than I'm used to, because I'm used to practicing like six hours a day. But, um, but that's his own commitment. You know, I can't force someone to do something that they really, really want to do. But in the long run, you know, he is enjoying it, though. And the greatest thing is we did develop a friendship between the two and of us. And you can definitely see that. I know he went to Utah yeah. and all that fun stuff. Which is great. Thank you. Man, talk about bad luck. So Master P's Dance with the Star stats are this, four dances, 50 points, an average score of 12.5, and was at the bottom of the leaderboard four times in a row. That's okay, Master P. At least you were a little bit better than Kenny Main. Just how he made it to week four was surprising to me. When his fan base outdid Tuntum O'Neill and Giselle Fernandez left a lot of fans outraged at the time. Romeo would then join Dance with the Stars season 12, being partnered with Chelsea Hightower, who would finish in fifth place. Today, Master P does not regret doing Dance with the Stars. As long as he did it for the people who were affected by the Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans in honor of them in a positive way, but as long as they have seen it, it's a great thing. But the bad news is for Master P, though, he will be forever known as a Dance with the Stars boss. And that'll do it for this video. Like, subscribe, comment down below for any suggestions you want me to do, and be sure to tune in for my next video next week for my next Dance with the Stars content video. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Eric Charkey, aka Dance with the Stars Superfan. Catch you next time.